Thank you, Councillor Land. Councillor Howard, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I thank the other leaders for their welcome. It's an honour to respond to Councillor Holditch's address, the first time there has ever been a Green Group on the Council, and it's a privilege to do so. I'd like first to take inspiration from Councillor Holditch's recent Leaders' Blog, where he shone much welcome light onto Mental Health Awareness Week. Councillor Holditch wrote, what always concerns me is that it is often not obvious when someone is suffering. On my first attendance at full council a year ago, and at every full council meeting that followed, remarks were made to me by members of this council about how lonely I must be as the first and only green councillor on the council. Well, as you can see, I'm no longer alone. <laughs> Councillor Day, whose birthday it is today, <laughs> has joined me on the council, and I hope that every new councillor will be made to feel welcome here. I come to this chamber to do the job that I was elected to do, and I would ask every elected member of this council, in the spirit of Mental Health Awareness Week, to consider what they might be able to do, both individually and in their groups, to ensure that all councillors, especially new members, are okay. I'd like to talk a little about the contributions the Greens intend to make to the council and to Peterborough over the coming year. The Green Group wishes to add our voices to the call for Peterborough City Council to declare a climate emergency and we welcome the opportunity to work with members of all parties in the realisation of this goal. We would like to see true leadership so that Peterborough can achieve its goal of becoming an environmental capital where the needs of pedestrians, cyclists, users of public transport and the environment are primary, with taxation of business parking spaces in the city centre to encourage greener travel and raise money for green travel subsidies, such as bus services. We would like speed limits of 20 miles an hour introduced on all residential streets as a default. We would work towards solutions that work for both pedestrians and cyclists in the city centre and save Rhubarb Bridge. We would like this council to try again to present and pass a motion on divestment from fossil fuels. We were sorry not to be invited to participate in last year's cross-party working group on flytipping and would welcome the opportunity to put our ideas based on our experiences in Autumn's Waterville Ward forward. We would like free bulky waste collections to be introduced around the city to combat flytipping. Ultimately, we would like to work towards a zero waste council and a zero waste society. We support the creation of a university and encourage a focus on green issues in technology and social science. When it comes to protecting our local nature, we would like to see more areas of municipal grass given over to meadow and to work towards the elimination of harmful herbicides and pesticides and an increase in local nature reserves with their known benefits for health and well-being. We would like to see more affordable and council housing built to passive house standards that minimise their carbon footprint and for all new developments to achieve a net gain for nature. And we commend to all councillors DEFRA's 25-year environmental plan. Councillor Day and I both had the misfortune of being caught up in an incident in Cathedral Square last month where children protesting, against, uh, protesting about government inaction over the climate catastrophe were threatened with £80 fines for being noisy. We are therefore very relieved to learn that the council is to end its contract with the third party company and bring enforcement of the town centre's public spaces protection order in-house. The attempt to silence the voices of children who are rightly concerned about the future of the planet they are inheriting from us was shameful and must not happen here again. We must be a city that tolerates peaceful protest. We are pleased to work collaboratively with agencies around the city 
in pursuit of these goals. I am delighted to be a cool food ambassador, educating residents on how to lower their carbon footprints by making positive choices in the meals they eat to help create a healthier planet. I thank PECT for inviting my participation in that. My colleague, Councillor Day, is a teacher. She reminds me that we should ensure schools offer academic, practical and arts-based curricula and that schools should not align their curricula for the sake of better league table results, but should place the welfare of the students and the needs of the city of Peterborough at the heart of everything they do. We are grassroots greens. We like to get dirty and we like to get stuck in. We welcome every opportunity to assist our fellow councillors in advancing Peterborough's ambition to become an environmental capital over the year to come. Thank you, Mr Mayor.